Why hello there guys, it is Quaddy Afro here, I'm bringing you another video and um, for change I'm on a rolling start and uh, well, welcome back to playing Metro Simulator, this is number 5 I do believe and we are now entering Symbolit Centrum and normally this would be the terminus point for uh, all trains uh, 3.9, the 3.9 update has hit and it is here and I'm bringing it to you now in this video so let's just stop here. I am on currently on AI. I'm going to turn that off right now and go in a little bit of a free cam. So I'm driving a Line B train to Simpler Airport, which is a new uh, destination uh, of, of the 3.9 update. Loads of things have been changed. There's been loads of uh, underpasses and overpasses uh, added into certain stations to um, smoothen out um, uh, traffic flow of trains which is really cool but we'll get to see that in this and some of the upcoming episodes of this uh, of this game that I cover in my videos. Today we're going to be driving this Line B to Simbler Airport then we're going to switch over to Line A and go to Aeroplane which is the new destination that, that was made for 3.8 which I didn't get to cover but I'm going to cover it now in 3.9 so we get to see then the, the whole kind of new airport terminus and then go back to Aeroplane where we can see one of the two new um, no, there's one underpass and one overpass. So, uh, also shoutouts for this video go to Sam O'Brown and Dan Leeds. That's again Sam O'Brown and Dan Leeds. Their links and stuff will be down below. Let's close the doors because uh, we have. I do believe the AI is coming now back up. I don't want to. I do not want to cause a uh, a bit of a traffic jam. But driving this kind of consist here of a. Uh, uh, of a uh, six car, well it's a two unit car of comprised of six cars like this one like smaller car in the middle of two and uh, two different liveries which is which is nice we'll go now into the cab I'm gonna leave on air a bit so I can talk a bit about the changes so now we're going past uh, Simulate Centrum which was obviously the original destination for this uh, for this game and now we go underground for the first time ever in Metro Simulator uh, because there hasn't been any other underground stations. This, uh, obviously this this game is developing it's obviously in beta right now and things are getting added to it so this is definitely the first step of many into adding more stuff to it and finally we get an underground kind of setting. So our first stop I do believe, I can't even remember what what this one is called. I think it's Sim, uh, Sim University, University or something like that. And then it's uh, Simvalet World Trade Center. Do you believe WTC? If that's for the World Trade Center. And then we get Simvalet Airport, which is a new fancy terminus, which is really cool. Looks really nice. Well, it's 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 not a lot of detail in this game. Maybe hopefully in the future. Maybe the 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 main aim now with this game is to get the whole like full functions of it and the whole kind of map laid out maybe eventually later on we'll get the finer details and stuff like that eventually maybe possibly who knows there's a lot you can do with modding this game with like um, liveries and stuff like that and repaints which is really cool one thing that's a little annoying that they still haven't done I hope they do is that AI trains don't open the doors they just stand there and then go when they they need to. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll be something in the future that, as I've seen people say that that would be really nice to add, like having the doors open, the day I open the doors. So I'm going to take control right now as we enter, do you believe it is Simvalet World Trade Center? I see it does it. I do believe we have to stop at this marker, which I've just passed a bit. There we go. Actually, no, wait, there's two. There's, there's... Actually, no, I've said that wrong. There is one more station after this one. But I can't get... I don't know what they... There is similar uh, university. There's similar uh, World Trade Center. I think there's one more, which I'm forgetting. And then there's... Simbler Airport. It'd be really cool if these stations had their names on it. That'd be something like pretty cool as well. Right, let's get going up again. It's so nice to be able to drive now in this game underground, essentially. 
as it is a, a metro and everything has been overground so far. No new trains. No, well, there is the, these other trains and stuff like that, but I cannot, for the love of God, uh, manage to like work out how to add consists and stuff like that and create like my own acti activities because the game's quite complex in that sense if you want to do that yourself which I would love to but it's just it's so complex right I do believe this is uh, this is the World Trade Center let's get out and uh, have the doors open there we go so just a normal line A, B, A, B, and C. One thing which is cool with some of the activities, well, this activity which I'm doing right now, which is event line A, B. Uh, line C, which has the longer trains generally, because it's the longer route. Oh, no, this is line A. Um, line C has the longer trains. A and B have these kind of like shorter trains. C would have one more unit. But then um, the thing with uh, line C, which is actually... Oh, well, we're both closing our tours at the same time. One thing that's, uh, that's interesting with line C, which is really nice to see with some variety, is that line C does not always terminate at similar airport. A and B tend to normally terminate at, uh, at similar airport. But then C on this activity, scenario, whatever, uh, some of the C trains terminate at Simlet Centrum, so you get a variation of trains not all going to uh, not all going to Simlet Airport, some are terminating at Simlet Centrum, which is nice. It means that you know to get a little bit of variety in there. So here is Simlet Airport, which is the new terminus of Metro Simulator. It's, they're quite lengthy platforms, I have to say. That is a Line C train there, which is the longest one in this activity. And that itself is pretty long, and it, you can definitely tell how long these platforms are. It's a really nice big concourse station, really tall ceilings. Not obviously much detail. Well, that's not the whole kind of point with this game, really. Right. Let's just turn that off. Shift off there. So we're here now. I think what is our scheduled thing here? Five. Oh, so we have a bit of time to set up and uh, look around a bit. There's nothing really much to look around. I was looking around earlier uh, to see if there was anything up here. Now it's just kind of little bits of spaces up the escalator and whatever. And I've checked all the other kind of stations as well. One thing we could do is also change the uh, the board, the destination board to A, because we're going to be doing line A to Araplin. Which is cool. One thing I would love to do. I don't know if, let's get the screenshot for the video, which would be really nice. Something like this would be cool, wouldn't it? Let's have it like that. Like that. Yeah, there we go. So that'll be the screenshot. Okay, I don't have to take screenshots in this game, but normally in the video editing process, I would just take a snap of this um, while I'm while I'm editing, which is really uh, like a nice feature I, I like doing. In a, or maybe even like this, I'll just hold the camera like this for a bit, and then while I'm editing the video, I then take a, a snap of it. But it's a it's a nice airy, nice uh, a nice airy like big really big station. Is that, yeah, that's another C train there. So, C and, I think C trains tend to use the middle most. I don't know, actually, if, if it's just whatever train comes in uses the platform. But uh, I think A and B use this platform here where I am right now. And then maybe the other one, they, I, I don't know. I've not seen A and B's use the middle platform, but they might do. I don't see why not. They're all the same length. But we can go now and... Uh switch cabs by going down here and clicking the cab on this side we can turn on the controls with control f4 and we are now going to be going to aeroplane as soon as we get the go ahead from here for the distant the lovely destination boards which are just amazing in this game we have two minutes so we're just going to be chilling a bit here looking around some more uh i don't know where this is but Maybe, well, well, probably Rotterdam or somewhere, probably wherever these metro trains were based off. 
which they are based off the Rotterdam Metro. But so far I am liking it. I've looked around all the kind of new things. There is also like a new activity, like a museum activity, which I might consider doing it. Oh, that was kind of trippy there. The, turning the camera around, looking like that. Uh, if I just like go into this wall, look how tri look at that is actually really, really trippy. I don't know. For me, right now, just moving this around is making me look. It's making it a bit, a bit trippy for me. Ooh. Oh, and you can see outside the map. We can see what it is basically. That's the externals of the map. We don't need to see any of that. We might. We could actually even. Yeah, we could leave a little bit earlier, I guess. So, what is this? Vec track van of perform free. Oh, so that tells you what what. Uh, so I think this one. Does this one? Okay, yeah. So that destination board here, at symbol at airport, tells you what trains are like from all of the platforms while these three here are individual for so this this destination board here is for this platform here where this train is on right now and these two are independent for uh, for the middle platform and then on this platform uh it does say on this one but it also says all the other ones that are departing or maybe no maybe it could be i don't know um, no, th this is the one that just says which ones are coming. So right now you can see there's another train coming in. It'll probably use the middle platform and that one's probably going to be a line B. And then that one's going to probably leave and then line C over there is going to leave after that. So a nice big variety of trains here where like this train will probably leave before the one over there that's arrived before this one. But we ourselves right now have to leave because, you know, zero minutes, zero minutes is calling. We don't want to be caught up here and cause a traffic jam. So we're going to close the doors. Nicely does that. And we shall head out of there. If I can... I forgot to use the, the horn. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and there we go. We're now doing line A to Aeroplane. Which was the new destination made for, uh, for Line A in 3.8 actually. It was extended. It was like when they extended Line C to Leliwad and Line A to Aeroplane. But I, carry, I, I, I did a video of Leliwad for Line C but I didn't do a video for Aeroplane. So you're getting a few, thing, few new things shown in this video. You're getting Aeroplane, the new destination for Line A. And you're getting this whole new underground section. Which here it is. I was thinking, I was like looking up here and thinking, is there anything up here? But no, it seems. But this is some nice, kind of fancy uh, uh, structuring and like fancy metal scaffolding, <laughs> as I call it. I like that the escalators work. That's a that's a nice little, you know, nice little thing. Up here again, just nothing, just space, really. And then we're just waiting here essentially to go. And also, like, with the uh, adverts here, which is really nice. Just, you know, nice some nice dynamic adverts. Why, why not? Are we a little early? No, we're not. Uh, we're all right. All right to go. Let's get back in the cab. So you can see another Line C. Line C tends to just have all the uh, longer train consists. I'd love to have. Uh, I wish the creator like like updated the game with like different activities that have like the, even the older trains in them. Like I would love to have the older trains on here, driving on here, which I can do myself if I learned and if I bothered to learn how to do the uh, make the activities. But it's really really confusing in my opinion. There is some sort of interior camera you could do. Oh no. Uh, no, there isn't. I wish there was an interior camera. I, c I kind of get this kind of little glitch that I, uh, I when I look this way and then go back into yeah, there we go. But then it goes back when I like click or anything. So if I turn my camera this way, look backwards on top of the train, and then I press press to go back in the cab you can see the interior 
just a bit through this like mesh meshed wall but it would be really nice to have like an interior camera like in, the, in a future update which the new next update obviously will be 3.10 who knows what will come in that one uh yeah i hope there's there's these trains i think it's the s g2s and the mg2s or mg2s or something like that uh the kind of like they're not the oldest or not the newest trains but they're, they're like a, apparently a future Adam which will come to this uh, to this game which I'm looking forward to. I'd just love to have again a mix of trains. I, I think my favourite kind of like update was just the one, I think it was in 3.6 or 7 where you had like loads of different activities where you had loads of different varying ages of train which was really nice. Like I remember when like Line C was literally all it had all those kind of older trains but it would be cool to have that again here we are at this pre I, I think so it was similar at university similar at um, World Trade Cent uh, Center and um, what was it again and uh, similar airport and I think this one is like similar town or something like that just after similar at Centrum I'm not too sure but you know up here again just a little room with like mosaic t mosaic tiles or whatever and now we're gonna uh, go back and uh, go up to the surface again. Is there any train coming from this way? Yes, there is. But it's good to get some new like elevations and topography in the game, which is which is cool. It's a nice little game. There's nothing much to it. It's a very simple game, but it's nice. And it has like certain things like the destination boards, which I don't know why a game like Train Sim can't have them, but. You know, loads of things to, to, to ask and compare. Alright, you can see it here up here. Don't know if this is, let's just have a quick look. Uh, that's just not in service. But here you would have um, you would have some of the trains actually terminating here at Simbolet Centrum to uh to just allow because if every train went to similar the airport would just be a bit too busy so this is a good like turnaround point for certain trains just to, to even out the services and stuff like that so that's um yeah most yeah i think it's mainly line c in this activity there are other activities where line a and line b terminate here as well like you can do one way you do i think you do like a I think it's a morning train, which line B only terminates up to here, and then for the rest of the day it goes to some of the Centrum or something like that, some of the airport. Right, off we go. You have like so you have three liveries right now. You have this kind of like really dark grey Arnet and pink doors, then you have the normal R instead or whatever it's called, was it? R and stad rail white and blue livery and then there's one more which is the kind of light grey red and green R.E.T. livery so a nice little bit of variation of liveries there I think one thing that annoyed me with 3.8 is in the most of them it's just it was only the white and blue and it, 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 I don't know like, it, in this it seems in this update we have some a big bit bit more mixtures of liveries and, and, and train clusters which is good but it would be good to see some more trains in it in the mix because right now it's all pretty much the same train so here we're at Alexander Park so this is what I would like I would like the signs to be put on the other stations maybe in an update or whatever or in a patch maybe who knows so I'm gonna get off the AI a bit and drive a bit <laughs> but you know most metro drivers don't actually drive the train so it's not really that off realism so <laughs> but I will uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, drive a little bit take control of the train to be honest the only thing you do on it when you press AI the only thing you do is uh, open the doors you don't even close the doors because the AI automatically closes the doors so it's 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 very nice, but I will I'll do a little bit of driving. And this game is free to play. It's a, another kind of joy of it. It's free to play. You can download it at sim dot 
something be or the link will be in the description if you want to take a look at it. You essentially just download the installer. There are like a few other things you can download which you just then extract to the uh, just the Metro Simulator beta folder. And that's really it. And then you just open it. There's like you, there's either Metro Simulator uh, beta setup, which you can uh, tweak around with the settings to like the limited settings and launch it in in uh, in what's it in, in whoa 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 why did I oh I just oh, okay I put my train in okay that's weird I put my train in in AI because I thought I couldn't slow down but the thing is when you put it in AI the train just if it thinks it can't slow down it just carries on to the next station so you know thank you AI um, yeah so you can either launch it up in Microsoft not to say Microsoft Metro simulator or setup where you can like tweak the settings launch it in windowed or full screen mode and then and then uh, you can launch it in the normal mode, which it just comes up with the kind of settings you put in the in the setup mode, and then that's it. Again, there's still the problem where if you click outside the game and click back, it comes up with like a light grey box, which is really really annoying. But hopefully that could be fixed as well. Right, we're here at uh, I think it's Burden, Berlin. And I see that's it. There we go. Missed the station, but you know what? There's a train every so and so. And also, one thing. There's a there's a t two new activities where it's like called AI Mega and AI Week, where you, uh, where you have um, some really intense AI sort of um, scenarios the mega one was a crazy I loaded it up into it and it was it was literally just AI after like I think I think the um, it was something like it was like a train every 40 seconds that's how like why is this alarm always coming on I know what I know what brought them to press to cancel it but it's annoying that it just comes on all the time but yeah you have you have the um, you have a, a mega AI kind of activity you can do, and that's crazy. Like a train every 40 seconds, it's, it's kind of ludicrous. And if you like that, then do that, and then you have to drive to like some really extreme shifts because trains are just literally going to stack up behind you. Coming in. I don't know every single station's name on this on this map. I only know like the main ones. But oh, this annoying thing. I'm just gonna. Do, I might leave it when we get to Stadion I might leave it to, um, at AI, and then. It can change, oh my god, it can change the pantograph from shoe to, to pantograph for me as well. Even though I could do it myself, it's just like control, shift P and then control I to change it. I'll probably change it myself actually. Let's head up. Probably the fastest section of track in the, on the entire map. So sort of camera there. Then you have this camera, which is just like, okay, why not? And I don't think there's any other camera then. Yeah, we get to do a hundred kilometers per hour. It's like probably the best stretch on the whole on, on the whole map. Can we seem to reach it? Like, if when I reach it, I'm gonna just hit it into the AI, and the AI can manage the braking. <laughs> And we've reached it. Very nice. And I'm going to now put it on the AI because the AI can then slow us down nicely. There we go.
And what's cool, I like that like on some of the events it gives you like this little kind of slip to tell you what to do. So this video could be actually really much, much longer, like but I've only chose to do a certain part. Like I started from uh D Molins and uh, drove up by uh by myself to Simple Airport and then I just started recording just before Simple Airport at Simple Centrum. And then I'm only doing it up to Arapin because then it would carry on and your shift would end when you do another Arapin to Simvilla Airport and then Simvilla Airport on Line B from Line A to D Molens and then you that's your shift over for that which is nice. So if you want to do shifts and stuff then it, it, this game's good as well. There's also those extreme full day shifts you can do which are literally real time full day. <laughs> But I don't think I'll be able to stay more than like a few hours on this map. There's nothing too dynamic about it. Right, we're coming up now to uh, Stadium Vec, which has been obviously upgraded and changed because it has now the underpass where we're now entering into. So now the station is actually a little bit lower than the rest of the platforms. So we're here, nicely does it, it does it. I'll actually let the AI change from Panto to, um, to, uh, I mean, change it from Shoe to Panto. But there, look, we have another tunnel. This is the underpass then at, uh, Tussle, or whatever it's called, Tusselwagen. The, the, the next, the, the station, if you can, if you continued with line B or, uh, C, the next station uh, is another station where it has the new overpass, uh, which basically re results in. Have we actually lifted? Oh no, we haven't lifted up uh, the pantograph yet. Oh, we probably do. Oh, there we go. There, it's done it. Oh, and it's lowered because it's in the in the tunnel, which actually simulates that very well. Like wow, it look that's that's really nice that the pantograph actually stays low in the tunnel, and then eventually when we get out. Brilliant, look at that. Look at that. See, Train Simulator can't do it. Like, this is, uh, I, I praise this game in things, like little things that should be in Train Simulator, but for some reason are totally not in Train Simulator. Like, look at that. Th that simulates perfectly what a pantograph should do when you go into a tunnel and when the actual wire has come down lower than it is when you're, out on, when you're on the surface outside. That's brilliant. Another little thing that's just like, it's great that this game has. I'm pretty impressed with that. It's just a little kind of, little thing, but it's it's real phys real physics there. That's real, like real life physics of what a pantograph does. While in Train Sim it just goes through the tunnel, it doesn't bend down to avoid it. <laughs> but that, that's, that's really good. And then also another thing they changed uh, with this kind of like now part of line A is that it used to be just a single track no, actually wait it, it still is a, no yeah this part here used to be a single track where it just converged and then it would go into a single track uh, to Stadium Veg but now obviously with the with the underpass it doesn't really need to so it's just now two tracks so again to increase capacity and flow, uh, flow, of, uh, flow of train traffic which is pretty good and I'm guessing, has this done, has this part been? We'll we'll see now once we get uh, out of this station. So it's just it's just in a way, more things have been added to this game, but they've all been added to. Oh, and look, passenger view again. Let me get out of it. Oh no, so this area here has now been still still the same single single track. So most things in this uh, in this like update have made it so it's increased capacity and flo uh, capacity of trains, which is pretty good. So now more trains will be able to run and and you can like do the activities like the mega AI activity which has a lot of AI and I probably I think it probably wouldn't be able to cope on the previous map well the previous like updates of like say 3.8 3.7 etc because there wouldn't be enough like area and room for the trains to all kind of fit as well as like you know it's already it's obviously extended uh, to some for the airport adding four new stations which makes more room for more trains as well as the underpasses and overpasses which prevents uh, which prevents the kind of like you know where a train has to wait for another train to cross uh, the line to like join up so now like line C at 
Tuzzle, whatever station is called, like with a T. At that station, uh, line B doesn't have to wait to cross over into its own line to like, it doesn't have to wait for a line C train. Uh, line C doesn't have to wait uh, coming from its own line onto the main line for like, it doesn't have to wait for a line B train now, it just, it just goes over uh, an overpass, which is pretty cool. But we'll see that, that overpass in another video, hopefully do, and I'll probably do another video covering line B, possibly. And then maybe one more to do line C, and then maybe show the museum, museum scenario. I guess that could be good, look you see a trains, trains waiting here. I see rolling. I like how it's rolling and not like stop. It's not like fully stops. It's just rolling because it knows it's gonna turn green any second now when I pass over. That's quite nice. But yeah, I'll probably try also like some more videos on the on the uh, mega AI AI where it's just AI everywhere. But I'm gonna, as a, I, I'm pretty much being lazy. I'm just leaving on AI right now to just like. Just, but this is this is really to me. This is how you drive a modern metro train. You just let the computer drive it, and I just sit here and I press a button <laughs> to open the doors. And that to me is it's fine. I don't mind. I get to see trains go by. I get to fly around with the camera and just let the AI do the work. <laughs> anyway, here we have a red light, and then, so this is the original. Uh, the, the original terminus for for line A which I can't actually remember what it was called I think it was called oh what the hell was it called I'm not too sure but so this was the original terminus there was two platforms here now it will carry on over the crossing and into its new terminus Araplin. Oh, there's apparently like here a little bit of a 10 mile 20 mile speed limit but then once we clear it we get to go uh, increase speed a bit so yep yeah, this is by to the old terminus which I don't think any train terminates here anymore because it's just there's no buffer points or anything and other trains have to go in and out through here so it's, it's no longer a terminus station while I think the thing with like Line C, where it got extended to Lennyward, is that Oost Park still can serve as a terminating station because it has an extra platform, while this one here won't be able to. And I'm still trying to remember the name of the damn station. What did Line A terminate at? Uh, it terminated at... I'm trying to remember. Shit, it terminated at... As, uh, spring Springstrat. It term that that station there when it was just part. That that was Springstrat, which was the original terminating station for Line A. And then this is the new terminating station for Line A. It is a single platform here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, quick. It probably won't be a quick turnaround because not many Line A's come. That's probably the 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 shortest and uh, less frequent service on the whole route uh, before as you remember in 3.7 or 6 line a actually was only sub only sub only did a service between springstrat and stadium veg into a bay platform at stadium veg which which in this update was just turned into an extended platform and links up to the main line so it's just a an extra platform in, in a sense it's no longer a bay platform and let me just change that for just a bit of real. Oh, that's the station name Tusen Velden. That's the station with the other with the overpass and that Springs Threat Stadionberg, so Central Airport. There we go. But yeah, that's essentially what's been happening, and that's pretty much uh, one part of the 3.9 update, which you can get for free. The link will be down below if you want to try out this game. I definitely would recommend it. It's free, and you can just play around with uh, AI and trains and um, you know metros and stuff. You get all the other kind of updates as well with it, so you can play in all the older maps. There is actually a 1982 map, which I might do a video on as well, which is basically old trains, uh, some of the lines. I don't think Line A is invented yet. And uh, I think line B and B haven't been invented yet. It's only line C is the only line in 1982. So and it's literally like old destination board, um, old destination boards, old trains and stuff. So I might do that as well as so like a little bit of a nostalgia look back at like the very first updates of this game, whatever. 
But then again, we arrived here at our destination, Aeroplane. This train will now go back to Simvilla uh, Simvilla Airport and then restart as Line B back to De Molens. But I'm not going to carry on in this video. Uh, I don't know if I'll carry. No, there's no point of carrying this back on because we've already covered it. Covered that. With Metro Simulator, I'm only trying to cover things that I have not shown you in the video, so I won't do this like return journey or whatever. But then again, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first look at Metro Simulator on my little plane Metro Simulator series. This is a, like my first look at update 3.9 which has been like in the works for so long it looks pretty cool and it's definitely that it's it's definitely a good uh, update for increasing capacity increasing the amount of ai's that actually run on the on the map so definitely a cool update just build it's just building up this game uh, i don't know when if all the, if the developers have like a release date of the full game i remember somewhere in uh uh in the previous update it was like a bought uh, like a billboard or something like around here where it said oh 2017 was the release or something like that I don't know it ha maybe that's not right but who knows where this game's going to go to if, what, if, what are they going to keep adding to it because it's free so to be honest it's good in my books it's it's a free game uh, I know loads of people that took comment and tell me when I can do more videos because uh, you know I love playing this game or whatever so it's definitely an enjoyable game for, for some but other than that thank you for watching this video the shoutouts were Sam O'Brown and Dan Leeds. That's again Sam O'Brown and Dan Leeds. Their links and stuff will be down below. And then join me in another Playing Metro Simulator episode. Uh, yeah, that's all I really much have to say. I hope you enjoy 3.9. I definitely do. It's pretty cool. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. We ain't never